Hello everyone, welcome back to Alisa Lifestyle Vlog. I know that it's been a while since my last video, but I am back here for a new topic. So in today's video, I will be sharing to you how you can start your fingerprint process while in the Philippines. So a fingerprint card or a background check is like the NBI clearance in the Philippines. This is very important when you apply to a school here in the USA. So they can process um, your teaching license as well if you don't have a fingerprint card. So I have posted a question in our Facebook group called Filipino Teachers Unite in USA. If there are people who are able to process their fingerprint card while in the Philippines. And these are the responses I got. Every state has different process for the fingerprint card. So today I'm going to show you how to process the fingerprint card in New Mexico and in Arizona. So if you want to know more about it, please keep on watching and don't forget to click the subscribe button. After you complete the application, you need to pay the amount of $67 for the fingerprint card that can be paid through check. I had my fingerprint card while I'm already here in the USA. So here's what I did mine. So my employer provided me a paperwork for the fingerprint card. So I had to set an appointment to the nearest sheriff department to help me um, do the fingerprinting process. After I did the fingerprint process, I sent it to the address right here. And waited for a couple of weeks for my fingerprint card to arrive. So it was really very easy at that time. Now, for those who are in the Philippines, my understanding is that you can process your fingerprint card even if you are not here in the USA, as long as you have someone here to send you the paperwork so you can bring that paperwork to the nearest police station or NBI office and they can help you do the fingerprint process as well. So I think they are all trained to do that. And once you're done with the fingerprint process, you are going to send it in the same address below. Go to www.aps.gmalto.com Then you need to click New Mexico for the state. At this point, you will be asked to register online. When registering, you need to first click ORI Lookup and type public education. You will need to get the ORI number for New Mexico Teaching Licensure. Then you need to complete the application by writing important information about you. Then click next for the payment. So here's the detailed instruction on how you can get your fingerprint card packet as well as the fee. Now here is how the fingerprint card looks like. This is what you will need to bring to the police station or NBI office. Make sure to print this in a card stock. 
After completing this packet, make sure to secure it in a safe envelope and send it to the following address. Now, my understanding is that you need to have an address here in the United States so that they can send it right there. And, if, and that person will be sending it to you in the Philippines so you can do your fingerprint process there. That's why many of the agencies are offering these services because they have their own office address here in the USA. So it is easier for them to accept the paperwork and send it to you. So there should be a middleman that will help you facilitate. Um, if you don't have an agency and you're doing direct hiring, you can still do that as long as you have someone who is residing here in the United States to help you facilitate with the process. I hope that I was able to help you in my own little way on how you can process your fingerprint card. So fingerprint card is very important when you are doing your teaching license application. So your teaching license will never be processed without your fingerprint card. That is one requirement. In my next video, I will be explaining to you how to file for your teaching license in New Mexico. So I hope you can watch my next video. Bye everyone. Thank you for watching. Thank you.